I will continue asking the cameraman to be artistic enough. Just be artistic enough. Find where you can stand without obstructing any activity. Have a sense of aesthetics. Be kind enough to the cameraman that after you have done that, you can push backwards. I know the modern machines have zoom, zoom lenses, you can zoom us from wherever. Please clear the way. Position yourselves in the place where you can zoom us. You can even zoom heaven from wherever you are. Thank you. How oh, I wish you could be here. Just beside here. So that you don't obstruct where the body is. Where the casket is. Just on my left. There.
technical advice given to me, cameraman, in order to get attention, is quite unique when you move this way. Because of the uniqueness of the, of, of the, of the tent. And I want to tell you, we are people of God, let us be seated for a while. Dear people of God, I welcome you to this ceremony of bidding farewell to our Papa. Erasmus is in Swandera, Bishop Emeritus of South Catholic Diocese. Thank you for showing him that love, that you have sacrificed your time and your resources to be here in the house of mourning. It's better to be in a house of mourning than to be in a house of feasting. Thank you for coming. I take this opportunity to welcome the ordinary of the Catholic Diocese, His Lordship, the Right Reverend Dr. Joseph Petroliac, to give his welcome remarks, and thereafter he will also invite the Pope of the of Uganda to give the messages before the Mass begins. Bishop, welcome. I welcome all of you, dear brothers and sisters in Christ, gathered here this morning to bid farewell to a man whom, in the words of the Apostle Paul, we could say has run the race to the finish, has fought a good fight, and has kept the faith, and now awaits the crown of glory. Welcome in a special way, His Excellency Luigi Bianco, the Apostolic Nuncio to Uganda. His Grace, His Grace Emmanuel Obo, the Metropolitan Archbishop of Tororo, who is also a main celebrant. His Grace John Baptist Odama, the Archbishop of Gulu. Roman jokes that is the Archbishop of Heaven, so he has come down to us from Heaven, most welcome. All your Excellencies, priests and religious, most welcome and thank you for standing with us in this trying moment. In a very special way, the enjoy in absentia, she's yet to arrive. I welcome High Excellency, the Vice President of the Republic of Uganda, we thank her for making time to be here today. And I'm sure Bishop Mandela must have been the one who confirmed her in the faith. And so it is just proper for her to be here to bid him farewell. All honorable ministers and members of parliament, if there are here present, religious leaders from other denominations, I see my brothers from Church of Uganda here and others. Most welcome, thank you for joining us in this moment of treatment. Welcome, all cultural leaders, and all, all you people of God, most welcome, and thank you for uh, coming to celebrate the life of this man who ministered to the people of Teso with dedication, and above all, the founding father of Soroti Catholic Diocese. Thank you. I now invite His Excellency Apostolic Nuncio of Uganda to deliver the Holy Father's message together with His Holy Message and after His Grace Emmanuel to lead us in the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. Thank you. Brothers and sisters in Christ, I would like to greet all of you, the bishops, the distinguished civil authorities, the clergy, the religious, and all 
the faithful present in this celebration of liturgy when we remember and we pray for the day Bishop Erasmus Desiderius Bandera. First of all, I would like to transmit the message and the apostolic blessing of His Holiness of Francis. His Holiness of Francis was suddenly to learn of the death of Bishop Emeritus Desiderius Erasmus Bandera and he sent actual condolences With those words from His Holiness, Pope Francis, and from the Papal Nuncio to Uganda, let us all be upstanding for the Mass. Let us rise up. And you, Tabuata, Agiasi Emesa.
together with you, to give farewell to our grandfather, the founder. Chose your servant, the B- Bishop Erasmus Desiderius Wandera, from among your priests, and endowed him with the pontifical dignity in the apostolic priesthood. Grant, we pray, that he may also be admitted to their company forever. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. In those days, I, Daniel, was mourning, and I heard this word of the Lord. At that time shall arise Michael, the great prince who has charge of your people. And there shall be a time of trouble such has never been since there was a nation till that time. But at that time your people shall be delivered, everyone whose name shall be found written in the book. And many of those who sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. And those who are wise shall shine like the brightness of the firmament. And those who turn many to righteousness like the stars forever and ever. The word of the Lord.
second reading, a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brethren, none of us lives to himself, and none of us dies to himself. If we live, we live to the Lord, and if we die, we die to the Lord. So then, whether we live or whether we die, we are the Lord's. For to this end Christ died and lived again, that he might be Lord of the dead and of the living. We shall all stand before the judgment seat of God. For it is written, As I live, says the Lord, Every knee shall bow to me, and every tongue shall give praise to God. So each of us shall give account of himself to God. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory At that time, seeing the crowds, Jesus went up on the mountain, and when he sat down, his disciples came to him, and he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. 
Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when men revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. of the gospel. brothers and sisters, it's a long time that you have invited me to stand in this builder's ground. Meanwhile, I was still waiting. Bishop Erasmus Desiderius Vandera has forcefully told me, you take me back and we go to that grounds which we left behind. That means home is it? Home, home is it? And that's why we are here again together with you. It is a moment that each one of us goes back to his or her personal reflection. Since the beginning of this diocese of Sorochi and with the presence of Bishop Wandera, it's a long story because Bishop Wandera was already working here. Some of you who are older than me know, me, know him, and probably they were baptized and confirmed by his ministry. My dear friends, if we are here today, it is him, it's of course we love him. And to preach love at all costs, the moments was not a very comfortable moment at all. I thought my mouth was long. Your Excellency, the Vice President, our own Jessica Alupo, Your Excellency Luigi Bianco, the Apostolic Nuncio, Your Excellency's Archbishop, Your Excellency Archbishop and Bishops, I believe that all of us are here 
is to worship the mayor of this city, whom I think I will see him for the first time since this place. Very Reverend Monsignors, Reverend Fathers, religious men and women, dear brothers and sisters, fellow Christians, my dear brothers from the other churches and all from the other denominations, dear fellow mourners, today we are gathered here to mourn to mourn the grandfather, the grandfather of Soroti. And I would like to welcome you as we our brother, our father, our grandfather in faith. On, this, on, on the morning of December 8th, on the Feast of Immaculate Conception, Bishop Erasmus, during the time of the end, end of earthly life, unannounced, but we are here today to pray for him, that he may receive the reward of all that he has done and followed in the will of God in his life. I know it has not been easy, and you know it very well. May eternal rest be granted to him. And we say together, eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord. Amen. May he rest in peace. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord. Amen. May he rest in peace. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord. May he rest in peace. His life lived from the 16th of April 1930 to the 8th of December 2022 was full of events that touched many of our lives, many people from within and without. We remember him for his open jokes when he is in a good mood. He was a joker, very good. Makes you laugh when you don't want to laugh. But when you find him in his own way, you also you will also laugh the other way the other way around. <laughs> but that is that was his life. His seriousness and honest zeal for evangelization. I think no one will forget about it, to talk about it. In this, all this was for the good of the people who were really suffering. At that moment, people were really suffering. Being the founding father of our diocese here, we have to render him respect for what he was and who he was. Indeed, the gospel of today describes the life of the bishop who is lying there. Every aspect of that beatitude is in him. We know what he passed through. His death brings us to run after the wind will for a wild wind of his presence, like Elisha running after Elijah, saying, Father, Father, why are you leaving us? Don't leave me. After over 25 years or so, he had the right to be called Father. In the fullest sense, Indeed, his life was influ has influenced many, many people who encouraged, 
who encountered with him. If we are gathered here today in such a great number, it is because the life of the bishop had an influence in, in my life, in your life, in the life of your neighbor. And so, dear mourners, believe me, Bishop Erasmus is still alive in you and will never die. Bishop will never die. He is with you. You remember him. He is in, on your walls. He is in your hands. He is in your memory. His philosophy, which actually he learned from the school of Hard Knock, the school of Hard Knock, is still with us, especially with the priests who have passed through his hands and through the seminary, and we know him. I think he had that philosophy which he carried. His memories will remain always to be talked about. And from the tree of Hard Knock, the tree of Hard Knock, for those who understand, the Diocese of Soroti has harvested many priests, many religious men and women, and above all, two young bishops here present with us. One of them is the ordinary and the bishop of, his di of this diocese. Thanks be to God. We are grateful to God for that. This is why St. Paul wrote that life and death of each one of us has its influence on others. If these young men and those other young ladies have become what they are today, that is from the influence of the life of the bishop. Yes, everybody is wondering what is happening in Soroti. I think the Lord knows. If we belong to the Lord, we can also mock death. At this moment we can mock death after seeing the wonders of the many priests, many religious, many hardworking Christians, we can mock God and say, we can mock death and say, death, where is your victory? If we are with the Lord, who can be against us? Who can be against us? And I think that is the strength that we usually get, that we forget about what when death comes and think about the presence of God in our midst. In all this, Bishop Erasmus was not a lover of cheap popularity, and we all know that. He was not a very good lover of cheap popularity. <laughs> because this made some people misunderstand him. He was a bishop of straight talk. Sometimes we talk of straight talk here, but Bishop knew how to make it very, very one, a very, very straight talk. One straight talk and you keep quiet. And he was confident of what he wanted to do for the good of the people. One time I was, I was passing here, I was a seminarian at a deacon before even I dreamt of coming this way and I was uh, stopped there by some warriors in a warrior there after warrior and uh, we had to come back the soldiers told us hey you religious you have okay maybe you have a, a mysterious body but for us, we are not going to go there. And we got it. 
people came and stopped us and probably we, sub we survived by chance. But when we came, we came and we wanted to pass this way and pass Serere and go back to Kumi through the other way. And we met somewhere here. We met Bishop driving a combi. I think it was a combi. And we told him, Bishop, how is behind there? He said, it's okay this side. And where you came from? I said, it's not okay. And he said, I'm going. I said, now, are we agreeing here? That was his courage. And what was he going to do? He was going to rescue a priest in Toroma at that moment. I was a deacon. I was not yet ordained. But that, these are some of the things that each one of you can remember from this man lying here. A man of courage for his people. Hence, he started serious programs of integral development in spite of the situation as it was. And hence, we have the Socadido is still alive for all those who know him. And then we have the radios, Choga and Delta. And then we have the Eneko village, which is still there. All this was done during a crisis and during the courage that this bishop took. There are many things that we may not mention, just to mention a few. Those things are still there. All this demonstrates the love of the bishop for the church whom he served without reserve and sometimes risking his own life and facing criticism for the good work done. At the end of all, this life Bishop Erasmus gave in to the Lord. I have fought a good fight to the end. I have run the race to the finish. Let us continue now to implement his vision. Let us continue implementing his vision. When I came here in 2007, we, together with you, we started implementing his vision. And he was not, he was not worried at all. He said to me, he told me, Bishop, me, I'm going to rest. I said, but you don't just stay for a one, one, one more week. He said, you, I have to give you space. I said, uh-huh. Here we are. He gave me space in order to implement his vision. About what we have just listened from St. Paul here, I have fought a good fight to the end. I have run the race to the finish. I remember very well when I reached that cathedral on Thursday, before my ordination, uh, before we came here for my consecration, this was the word that the bishop welcomed me. I've fought a good, I've, I've made a, I've fought a good fight. So, like he was telling me, come in and take charge and fight a good fight. I don't know whether I fought the real fight. <laughs> Word of his wish. Let the work of the progress and development be our goal in every home. That was the wish of this man. In every family. And I, would, I will ask so Kadido to continue with that, giving guidance to that. Let us not leave the spirit of Bishop Erasmus to die. 
when we are still alive. This will reduce, if we go on like that, this will reduce our, our poverty level and it will probably reduce also the domestic, domestic violence in the families and eventually bring peace in our families. Peace is not outside the families today. Peace is now centered in our families. And we need to keep that peace. Unfortunately, people are going against it. Let us join together to fight bad manners like defilement, which are in our villages, and many other shameful acts happening in our families, including witchcraft and all those evil things that chase away the Spirit of God from our families. I believe that Bishop preached all this, and he did it confidently. Let us obey the commandments of God and obey God. Because if we don't obey God, then we shall not see the vision that was started at the beginning of this diocese. Bishop Erasmus spent time preaching these things, and I'm just reminding you of it. The time Bishop Erasmus came here was not a very smooth time. That time, I personally, as a seminarian, I was in, a, I was in, a, in Moroto, in Karamoja, a place which was not very, very far from here. But Erasmus spent his time moving from here to the border, from all borders around. I tried, even myself, to move from border to border, but I was small. And then, before I even enjoyed my, my going through all this obedience, get, get up, take up your mat and go. And then I went. But he was there, he came near me. I went near him, actually. I went near him. May his re soul rest in eternal peace. And may the Immaculate Mother, our Mother Mary, and the Mother of the Church, pray for the Bishop and pray for us too, and pray for our families. Amen. Find room in your heart. We need to analyze those words that have been given to us. And as we take a leave from the life of the fallen bishop, let us live to carry on his vision. reflecting on those words not only today but also the days to come let us rise up and profess our faith I believe in God and on the earth of all things visible and invisible the only begotten Son of God Born of the Father, all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, 
begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was married. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with From there he shall come. Who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who is the Father and the Son is adored and glory, who has spoken through the prophets. Holy and Catholic and Apostolic Church, I look forward. What to come. Amen. Brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ is risen from the dead and is at the right hand of the Father, where he intercedes for his church, confident that God hears the voices of those who trust in the Lord, in the Lord Jesus, we join our prayers to his. We shall respond, hear our prayers. Hear yeah. our prayers. In baptism, Bishop Erasmus Vandera received the light of Christ. Scatter the darkness now and lead him over the waters of death. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. Our brother, our father, Bishop Erasmus Vandera was nourished at the table of the Savior. Welcome him into the halls of the heavenly banquet. Lord, in your mercy, yeah. our prayers. Our father, our brother, Bishop Erasmus Vandera, shared in the priesthood of Jesus Christ, leading God's people in prayer and worship. Bring him into your presence where he will take his place in the heavenly liturgy. Lord, in your mercy, hear yeah. yes. Many friends and members of our families have gone before us and await the kingdom. Grant them an everlasting home with your son. Lord, in your mercy, hear yeah, our prayers. Many people die by violence, war, and famine each day. Show your mercy to those who suffer so unjustly these sins against your love and grant them to the eternal kingdom of peace. Lord, in your mercy, your those who trust in the Lord now sleep in the Lord. Give refreshment, rest, and peace to all whose faith is known to you alone. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. The family and friends of Bishop Erasmus Wanderer seek comfort and consolation. Heal their pain and dispel the darkness and doubt that come from grief. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We are assembled here in faith and confidence to pray for our Father, Bishop Erasmus Wandera. Strengthen our hope so that we may live in the Lord in the expectation of your Son's coming. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer.
Let us pray. O oh God, give us peace and heal of souls. Hear the prayers of the Redeemer, Jesus Christ, and the voices of your people who lives where, whose lives were purchased by the blood of the Lamb. Forgive the sins of all who sleep in Christ and grant them a place in the kingdom. We ask you this through Christ our Lord. Amen. It's time for offertory. And those who are designated to collect the offerings, offertories, please reach out to the different shades. Mwalimu Lwedi ni, epana nangye na sinare kikidi kaso. Nara kona wo, minashe la wo, napa mwenye sinare wo, kwa lama kopira. Kujiba wanyi me kaso. Kwa wole wole ya kopira. Those in the leadership committee, please avail them with the baskets. Thank you. 
Our gifts are going to be brought in procession. Let us all be upstanding. Uh, we are symbolic. We are standing with symbolic that we are offering all our hearts and our resources to God. That we are moving much in the world, the all of the world, with our gifts. We pray by those who are carrying them. But you can also tell your guardian angel to bring your prayers to the Lord of God.
Let us pray together, my dear brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. I accept, O oh Lord, we pray, the sacrificial gifts we offer for the soul of your servant, the Bishop Erasmus Desiderius Wandera, that as you accorded him the pontifical dignity in, his, in this world, so you may command him to be admitted to the company of your saints, in the heavenly kingdom, we make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for as one alone you accepted death, so that we might all escape from dying. And as one man, he chose to die, so that in your sight we all might live forever. And so, in the company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. <laughs> You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. 
and you never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a perfect offering, a perfect sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O oh Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, so that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said a blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as he looks forward to his second coming, we offer him thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblations of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain inheritance with your elect, especially with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with her spouse, Joseph, and with you, your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, our Uganda martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, with Joseph, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people we have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you in your compassion, O merciful Father. Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Remember your servant and bishop Erasmus Wandera, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection, when from the earth he will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly body after the pattern of his own glorious body. To our departed brothers and sisters too, 
and to all who are listening to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory when you will wipe away every tear from our eyes. For, for seeing you are God as you are, we shall be like you for all the ages and praise you without to end through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. At the Savior's command and from thy divine teaching, we dare yet to say, Father, Master, Christ and Jesus, sanctify Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you say to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us share that peace of the Lord together, weeping out to draw one another.
behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Only I say the word to my soul. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. It's time for uh, Holy Communion and for all those who are I know we all allow Bishop Wandera, but for the sake of the community, we can help you participate. Keep where you are. Keep on praying for the repose of his soul.
concerning for the Thanksgiving song. Where that can I say Let us pray. We pray, Almighty and merciful God, that as you made your servant Bishop Erasmus Desiderius Wandera, an ambassador for Christ on earth, so you may raise him purified by this sacrifice to be seated with the Christ in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever.
Consolation bless you for in his unformable goodness he created the human race and in the resurrection of his only begotten son he has given believers the hope of rising again. So as we are alive, may God grant pardon for our sins and to all the dead a place of light and peace. Amen. So may we all live simply forever with the Christ, whom we believe truly rose, and rose from the dead. And may the blessings, the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever and ever. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us sit down. So we we'll try to manage it in this time as, as, as possible as we can. Uh, earlier on, I read some messages of condolence, and I want to go through others very fast. I won't be reading all, all the messages, but I have received a condolence message from Honorable Helen Adoa Beku. Uh, in a special way, she wants with us and wants me to hand over this to Bishop Achiru. She remembers Bishop Emeritus fondly because he's the one who confirmed her. In this brown envelope, that they close one very soon. Thank you for your We have also received a message of condolence from the Diocese of Aroa, particularly from Bishop, Bishop Sabino Doki, who is also with us here. And enclosed in the envelope is found in Southern Chile. We have received a message of condolence from Church of Uganda's Road Diocese, and enclosed is 200,000 Chile. We have also received a message of condolence from the Rotary Club of Sosoti and enclosed 100,000 We have a message from the Diocese of Jinja. Message of condolence to us. Yala Mekisi Jinja there, and Yala Mekisi Jinja. Yala Mekisi Kere, Abu Nere. Thank you so much for coming and for sparing your time to be part of the send-off. Your presence here is like you are appending your signature to the life of Bishop Erasmus Wandera and commending him to the hands of God for a peaceful repose. I know you have in your hands, you have the program as it is. We shall not follow it as it is. I see, that, see another brown envelope coming. Ah, this brown envelope comes from Honorable Alobo Joan, Woman MP in Seroti City, Kiri Lukumina Pataretoma. And another one from the president of uh, FDC, Honorable Power.
His Excellency has already talked to you. He has talked to you. His Excellency, for those who came late, his name is Luigi Bianco, the, the, the representative of the Pope. And thank you very much. You read to us the message that came from the Pope. We are consoled. And of course, we come far and the farthest is Arua, the other side of the entrance of Sudan. For a bishop here, Sabino Doki. They call him the Bishop of Refugees. But he has left his refugees and come to us. Then we have, I'm trying to go in the categories. We have the Bishop of Jinja. And I think he may be familiar to many of you. Bishop John Martin. Charles Martin Wamika is just across. The other day I was passing there and I'm making a road to reach your place. Very beautiful one, a shortcut from here. I said, this is a ginger will be very easy to reach here. And then we have the Bishop of, uh, he's called now the Emeritus, but he's still the administrator of Cotido. He is Bishop Felipe. And then we have the neighbor. I didn't want to rush. It's, it's just across here. After Luana, then you cross the other side. I think the border is uh, the Oloeny, Oloeny. I think it's the border, Oloeny River. <laughs> He is the Bishop Santos Wanok, Lira Wanok, the Bishop of Lira, the next door, the other side. And then last, or least, because there is no another Bishop, last but not least, we have the Bishop elect. Oh, he's covered there. Bishop uh, Damian, you are covered behind this. <laughs> I'm not seeing. The Bishop of Morocco, the other neighbor. Is the Bishop Damian Vuguzeti. And also, now we have the last. Of course, the Bishop elect, Bishop Dominic Ayubu. Very soon is the Bishop elect for, so for, for Cotido. It's for Cotido. But now the list, the list of the bishops here. is the ordinary of this diocese, Bishop Joseph Echiru. And yes. Since I was the one to introduce others, I think I'm not obliged to, sit to, to, to introduce myself because everybody will ask, who was that talking? Who was delegated? I am the above. Your Excellency, I have been given a commission, a small kibarua, to welcome you to come and give us a message from your heart to your family here. You are welcome, as we welcome you.
for the gift of the late Bishop Erasmus Desiderius Wandera. The life he lived very well here with us in the Catholic Diocese of Soroti, and he has borne many fruits in different ways. Let us thank God with a very loud hand. I also request all of us Christians to thank God for the gift of courage which the late Bishop Desiderius Erasmus Mandela had, which helped him to serve many of us physically but also through prayer during that time when there was a region was a difficult situation for the insurgency. We thank him for the courage which he had. Some of you may have been at that time middle-aged, but for us as young children then, primary school, we used to hear our parents say that we have a courageous bishop. We have a good we have an honest leader who was always speaking frankly to Christians but also to leaders of government in order to find a solution to the problem we had then. The Excellency Denuncio, let me also inform you that the late Bishop Pandera was very keen on Christians completing all the sacraments. And he gave me the sacrament of confirmation. At that time, we did not have a parish in Katakui. So he gave us confirmation and a mango trees in a school called Abudan Primary School. And as a little girl, I remember that he, 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 he was always saying the Christians that children should always at least finish the sacrament of confirmation before they go to senior one. And our father, many of our parents, kept that one. And that's how he has he managed to bear a lot of fruits in terms of. Um, uh, uh, evangelizing the word of God practically. The bishop had a very clear voice who would always listen to him, who would have very loud but very clear and very straight in his messages as the archbishop of all has just said. He worked very well with both the civil leaders and government leaders, and he was very, very pertinent about education for the children, especially the Sarmadi. Through the Sokadido organization, he would reach out to all the villages in the diocese to look out for the disadvantaged children in order to enable them also to access education. But mostly I remember also that he was very pertinent about the fight against poverty. Because through Somadillo, he used to hear women groups in villages talking about how they have received support through Somadillo in order to fight poverty. Therefore, the bishop that we have come to pay tribute to today touch the lives of the people of Texo in very many ways. And it's a very big loss to us, but since we're in church and since we know that he has been transformed in order to join the angels in heaven, we shall remain praying for him and praying for his family and praying for all the Christians to accept that we have we are going to miss him in his physical life, but we know that he is alive. Your Excellency, finally, I would like to thank our 
guests who have come to support us in this tough time. Specifically, let me thank uh, Archbishop John Baptist Obama. At the time when the Minister of Education, you were a true shepherd to me. You were a true father to me. Whenever I would be in Western Uganda, you would always give me messages of courage and messages of guidance. The Bishop of Arua, I thank you very sincerely for traveling on that long journey to come here to be with us as a family and be farewell to our late brother. The Bishop of Ginger, the Bishop of Lira, the Bishop of Potito Moroto, all of you are our friends. You are the friends of Soros Catholic Churches. I would like to give you my sincere thanks for coming physically to be with us this afternoon. Your Excellency, the President asked me to also tell you that you would have been here, but because of some a, a, a person who comes from this village, he gave me to bring his message of support towards the arrangements of this funeral. He gave me his message of support of 20 million children. <laughs> and he also asked me to tell the people here that you accept the programs of government and implement them to the latter. The program of the program of educating all the children, both boys and girls. The program of fighting poverty through the Paris government model and the yoga. And all other programs which you know. Because through those programs, when you work very hard, we shall solve so many problems which affect us in our own states. And the Excellency, the people have heard, and I am happy that I will send a very good feedback to the Excellency President. But the President, there are many different programs in the program. The program is more like to some people who are in the world, who are in the world. I have a program more like this channel. A program more like a regular, a program more in your bed. A more day, I don't care if you put your chin in. If I represent the police and the egg, and then get all me, it will get a part. No, it will be so many noise. I want to hear about a bishop. The Zedias Erasmus Mandela. But this way, the Roberian says, Jai, that you are going to be in, or maybe in this way, or about our own way of better than that, and we will get a doubt that you are going to be in. But this will see you tomorrow. The Excellency, I'm the Vice President, I also brought my support. Also brought my little support of five million Uganda children. So I'm going to hand over that support to the president, but also for for my office to who the excellency, the organizing committee, will give me permission to hand over to. I thank you very sincerely for giving me the opportunity to say a few words. But also to our guests. Yeah. God is good all the time. And all the time.
So before I invite the Vicar General of South Africa Diocese to give a vote of thanks, allow me again uh, to read to you some messages of condolence uh, from the family of Mr. and Miss, uh, Mrs. Oloko Joe to our college. And the case of the Medical Department of South Africa Diocese. 800 and family, Kampala, <laughs> So we have re re received that. I have also received, I did not mention to you, from Toronto Archdiocese, 3,700,000 shillings. And I did not tell you that from the Diocese of Ginger, we, re we received 1 million shillings. For purposes of accountability, I therefore invite the Vicar General of the Catholic Diocese, Monsignor Robert Chogu, to give a vote of thanks. God is good and all the time Your Excellency Toto Jessica Lukwepen, Vice President of the Republic of Uganda, Your Excellency Most Reverend Luigi Bianco, the Apostolic Nuncio to Uganda, Your Grace the Archbishop Emmanuel Lobo of the Archdiocese, Your Grace the Most Reverend John Baptist Sodama, of Gulu and Diocese, the Right Reverend Bishops present, all political, civic, and cultural leaders, my brother priests, our dear religious brothers and sisters present, our dear catechists, and all of you, our dear people of God, on behalf of the clergy, the religious, and laity of Soroti Catholic Diocese, I take this opportunity to thank you wholeheartedly for loving Bishop Wandera so much. God bless you. We thank God the Almighty who gave him as a gift to us and for the many important achievements God gave us through Bishop Wandera. Secondly, we want also to thank the late Bishop Wandera himself for offering himself and being a true father to this diocese. We thank him. We want to thank Archbishop Emmanuel Lobo for describing his achievements very well. We have all sung about them. We want to thank the clergy, the religious, and the laity who supported him while he was still part of this diocese to make those achievements. Particularly, I want to single, single out Father Athanasius Mobiru. Father Mobiru, thank you. And all the priests and religious and laity who supported Bishop to achieve what we are building on today. One thing we need to single out and keep singing about is what we are going to celebrate next year early February, the 30 years of the visit of His Holiness Pope John Paul II to Soroti. This was made possible by the personality, by the charisma, by the spiritual shepherd wood of Bishop 
Erasmus Wandana. We thank him for that. All of you who are old enough will bear testimony with me that that was not a simple visit. The visit of the Pope to this land transformed Teso. Teso that had been going through a lot of violent conflict, insurgencies, but from that mass, after that mass that the Pope celebrated on these grounds, peace started coming back to Teso. No wonder Teso is not just any land. Teso is now Holy Land. This is the Holy Land of Teso because the Holy, pa Holy, Holy Father was here. So we thank God for all these achievements through Bishop Erasmus Desiros Wandera. Your Excellency Toto Inach Jessica Lupepel, we always thank you for being down to earth. We thank you for upholding the values that you learned from the church and from your dad of happy memories, Appel, I'm sure he's happy. He's one person who was very close to the late bishop and by offering his own son to the church, I'm sure he had opened his eyes altogether to the bishop. So we thank you very much. We want to continue praying for you that the good Lord continues to support you so that you remain an exemplary political and civic leader in this nation. We thank you for bringing the greetings and support from the President of the Republic of Uganda. Please relate to him our heartfelt appreciation for sending you. Your Excellency, Most Reverend Luigi Bianco, yesterday before you arrived, we were celebrating, I think, the fourth mass for bishop. And in that mass, the representative of the family of Lady Bishop Wandera gave a speech in which she made a passionate appeal to the bishop, our bishop, that he should work hard with the support of the laity to build a home for the old clergy. Well, the term was short, but I think later on, how her request was addressed back to her, she was comforted. I'm sure she was informed that her request was already in the making. So it was just meaningful when you arrived and you were taken to see that structure in Madara. And we want to thank you from the bottom of our, of our hearts for coordinating the reality of, of that through the lobby efforts of our bishop. May God bless you. So, dear people of God, there is a home for the elderly and sickly clergy of the diocese being built in Madara. So if you have time any day, please reach there. And if you can support our bishop to have those structures roofed and completed, completed well and good, God will bless you. We want to thank all those who supported Bishop Wandera, especially in the last years of his retirement when he was sick and when he was confined to the house he was living in, in Bali. We appreciate you very much. I'm very confident that's what kept him living for long. Because yesterday, Bishop in the homily gave a testimony that whenever he visited him in Bali, he always expressed his appreciation for the people of Teso who still love him. And those were his words. Thank you for loving the Bishop throughout and throughout. I want to thank particularly Scala that kept on visiting him now and again. We want also to thank the parishes in this diocese that organized to visit him in groups. Some even invited him. I remember Luala, when Luala was celebrating 100 years of the faith, invited uh, Bishop Wandara to be in Luala physically. That makes a difference. I know even of families, there's a family in Cabramaido that went and picked Bishop from Bali to take Bishop to preside over a function in his frail status and gave him all the support. So that was the love. I know there are many and many others. And one thank God for you. Thank you for making the bishop feel at home and to make, for making him remain relevant, relevant pastorally even at that time. We want to thank the family members, the nieces and nephews of Bishop Wandera. You've done a tremendous job. You've made the church proud. You've made the bishop proud. 
the mind of the bishop again and again was that we would get at least a religious sister to go and stay with bishop in Bali. Or at one time we were really thinking of, even of having a priest go to stay with the bishop in Bali. But you know, Bishop Wandera, just like he has been accurately described, he was a very humorous, humorous gentleman but also very stern and very principled. So, and he had some hidden shyness also in him. So I think he was shy to be taken care of by a religious sister and by a priest. So he preferred to be taken care of by the younger ones. And we want to thank the family again very much for doing that job very well. Please, wherever you are, stand up for recognition. There is a huge team that came from Dabani Parish Please stand together with the family. We thank you. We appreciate you. Thank you for supporting us and keeping Bishop very well. Finally, we want to thank our Bishop, the Bishop of Soroti Catholic Diocese, for building a very enabling environment for both the clergy and the laity of this diocese to unite in a pastoral out, outreach and also to reach out to the different categories of people who need the support of the diocese, the support of the clergy, and the support of the religious. Finally, we want very much to appreciate the organizing committees right from Bale down to here Soroti. Up to today, if I'm not mistaken, we have celebrated nine, mass, nine masses for Bishop Wandera. I want to thank, want thank the different organizing committees and pray that the good Lord may reward you for all the sacrifices you made and for the love you have shown in organizing this befitting sending to our Papa, Bishop Erasmus Wandera. I want to wish you any mercies and we let us keep praying for the peaceful repose of the soul of Papa Erasmus Desiderus Wanera. God bless you dearly. Thank you very much, Monsignor Robert. The next exercise will take us a short time because we know the heavens have, begun, have favored us now and by letting down some waters, waters of joy and blessing. In African tradition, when it rains in a ceremony, there's a success. Ma. So now comes the laying of the rest, and the first one will be laid by the family members. Family members. Following the family members, we have uh, the lady. Now, among the lady, I was specific. Chapas and Scala. Chapas and Scala. Chapa and the Chapas also. Paso, 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 Mizai Kalam. Madame Abedja. Mr. Proto Paul. Mr. Maria James. Benedict Ekamo. Okay, my bosses. Can I know what? Can I at You will join Scala. You will pay all the lady. Kelepata, let us pray. Pasuani Papa, leave so you, I said, I did not put a little bit of a share, I bless to con. You break it also, I mean, I was in a mess when I see. Sering Kokota Papa, Kalokoko, Kalemala Gayon. The president of the lady and Scala and Maria James, as a car and a petrol, and our car, and our car. Muse Kalam and our car, but to forget that.
fair, fair, the way, papa. In the name of your Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. It all stands for the lady. Chapters of Scala, Amal Akatekis, and Maria James, Musea Kalam, Abeja, Epolokita Mor, Opoloto Polo, Epolokiti Kiloko Diocese, Akusuru Dadopet. We have received a condolence message from David Calvin Echodu, one million shillings. Following the Papa, I try to show you Kokoka Papa, Kao Koku, Kale Mara Gayon. The next race is going to be led by other religious leaders from other denominations and the cultural leaders. I have seen Papa. Of my call, I will see the Papa Eruao, my very good friends, I will see the Papa Mome, I will see the Bishop Edutu. Hey, Ibu, you're Ibu. Why do you have Ibu? No, Bishop Kinit. Get all umbrellas. You have a Yako umbrella, I think you have a Kito. Bishop Edutu, you have a Kito. You have I got out of the number of the other boys. We are the boys. We are the boys. Meanwhile, after Papa, I told you, I was a man who 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 was a man Monsignor Silva Pio, Vicar for the clergy, Father Alex Bello de Kiel, Chairman Sodipa, one of the Chairman of Todipa, Tororo, Sister Celestine, Sister, Sister of America, America, one of them, Sister Mon, FDC, Sister um, House Animator of Cabaramaido, and I can't even like a rose with a little we have received a condolence message from the Dennis of Fort Porto, and it close is 500,000 Uganda shillings. Fort Porto, Yalama. Fair D. Well, Papa Erasmus Desiderius Vandera. We bid you farewell in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. He just, the Himalayan and Luca Locas Suban, that I'm going to put in a mummy of the womb. Umbrellas this way, I'm going to escort the sisters. The last breath is going to be laid by the bishops. And therefore, the prayers of commendation follow. Scouts, older boys, older girls, please be around. Let me join the Chairman of the Bishop. I'm going to talk about the Bishop. I'm going to talk about the Bishop. Rai show my show. We do more show. Mama, I got a show. We are doing a new show. We are doing a new show. Come on, come on, come on. I do not believe that. The lady that is on the radio, the dear son, I am making it to see the battle. Luka Kristo, ijayoni nelolo, kanuka imore puchiti loka. Wandera, Erasmus, Wandera, Loko Soroti, Diocese. I will ask the radios, Abuja Kineko Songon, Tomapaki. 
The bishops are now going to lay their rest as they bid farewell to their brother who had been with them as a member of the Uganda Episcopal Conference. The Lord be with you all. Before we go our separate ways, let us now take leave of our brother. May our farewell express our affection for him. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet him. Again, when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death itself.
Saints of God, come to his aid. Ascend to meet him, angels of the Lord. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. May Christ who called you take you to himself. May angels lead you to the bosom of Abraham. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. Let us pray. Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our brother, Bishop Erasmus Desiderius Wandera, in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, he will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon Bishop Wandera on, his, on this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn towards us and his, listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us to remain to comfort one another with the assurance of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and with our brother forever and ever. So, los dos cuando proceden no hayan área a cuando hayan adakin. The cross bearer, and then the incense bearer, the thrifa, and then the So among the people that will go to church, we have the family members, we have the choir, we have the catechists, and the religious. I didn't get this year. I don't want to wake you up. I don't want to wake you up. I don't want to wake you up. We have the family members. I don't want to wake you up. 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 Point of correction. Let us remain seated. Point of correction. The priests who shall go in recession, in a procession. Let us follow. Tada! One million three hundred four thousand. The choir will come from behind. Scala three seven nine. I'm going with it. And then Tadipa two million. Final service in Arakini. Tony Yalama no final service. Raya for the service. Raya Pakia. Yalama no. So as we go there, the priests and the nuns, you occupy where you were for breakfast this morning. Is where you are going to have your meal. 
the, the, the priests, the religious, and then the political leaders. The bishops will go to the cathedral, the parish. Politicians, Ilas Cafe, and the family members, and the choir. All you take select penny. A young man. A young you don't want to come up for the poor and the queen. Scouts help us with the security there. Why you don't want to, Mammy, not to be done, none of those queen. Mammy, no more, it's a market. So, can the driver come at the altar here? A driver also can do be a lutari laila tipa repeat. Your assignment are very urgent. Very, very urgent. Chaf Chaf will enter your I 9 so scouts to manage Akio Nanyam Alailo. Chapter will be a very old and a young one, or Lutari. There is something very serious. Security, we shall be, we have requested you to help us manage. Mama Bedalo Marito, Mao Kelesia, Mama Losit, a union procession one. The family members. Some excuse me, some choir members around five or six. Atipatpe, some choir members around five or six. Chap chap, Ker de Beresu. Some choir members around five or six. Ruklos Beres at Petpe. Just Atipatpe. Some choir members around five or six. Atipatpe. Please. So, carry the three and follow. Okay. Only, only La Cristo carry only one and move as fast as possible. Only La Cristo, Lipita on a Salakin Bero Gagon Nepene, a right yoni, I carry one other one, one of you, please come, carry this. Hello, please, so, may I request another one, one choir member, a Salakin, come and carry this one, and you are. Please, please. Lord, we need to see you on the line. Yeah, Dakalo. Abu Dobele Bedo, Dasho, Atidingo, Atidingo, Toto, Atidingo, Toto. Mr. Okayum, yes? Yes, Papa. Dark Bell, Lord Christo, Asalak Siberono, Ega Gorone Penin, Eja Kae, Aitemuloki, Nakirono, Adumakirono, Nyamat, on a I know I lit Yeah, I'm going to give you that one.
Find the way the other side. Yeah, find the find the other side. Yeah.